All right. Oh my gosh, it's uh, what J July sixteenth. Um, we have some in incredible things. I'm gonna I'm gonna start off kind of a, a, as an extension from the other the other um, training we just did. So we are gonna be pouring into all of our ambassadors with access to training to to build the the um, business, to build the teams, to build your binary. Um, I wanted to talk about that today. So I want to, I'm, I'm literally going to hog the training hour with a vision day. Um, and um, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. So today I want to start out, we just completed the entire review for the winner of the wine label that'll be released like on the bottle released, we will be drinking it with the, the, the food pairing for it at the Napa event. So, so let me, let me recap. We did it. We did it last year. Um, having, having wines that go with the food is something we really enjoy that, right? That discovery of taste, the flavors, getting those to pop. Um, I'm also, I'm going to give away I'm going to give away a, um, something today as, as knowledge. It's, it's a giveaway thing. So everybody that's here right now and everybody that's catching the replay, the wine that's going to be released on the label of the winning, the winning ambassador that's won the label, this wine has never been released in wine ambassador before. This varietal it has not ever been here before. It's the first time and it's being released under our winning label, winner label. And um, so I've, there, there's, there, now that we know who it is, it's, it's time for some label creation, okay? And so, you know, usually we get some pretty good, um, you know, insight. We like to, uh, we like to, uh, you know, make it, something and there's 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 a lot that goes into getting a label okay a lot that goes into getting a label and one of it one of those components is the the actual name of the the that goes on the label whether it's your first and last name or a last name like we did like with Rickard that is something that may not be available so it's it's to me it's so interesting because Wine's been around for over 7,000 years. The amount of wine labels and the names of wines is literally in the hundreds of thousands. It is amazing. And I don't just mean the US, I mean globally. So we have to do research. We have to just look like it's almost, it's like looking at a corporation name and you got to make sure that it's available. So we, we've isolated it down and we got to know who, who the potential winner was. but. But the winning person, I, I want to let, let you guys know, it's not based on just personal production. It's personal production and their entire team's production. All right. And we did that from the beginning because the leaders are going to rise and get stuff in there. But where we're at today with the way that we're growing and, and so forth, there is now next year is going to be the biggest like competition ever based on where we're at right now literally there is like 50 people that if they just if they just chimed in their groups are there any one of them could be the one that wins all right it's already started it's we got 16 days in on next year's label you could be brand new in the business right now and especially with these tools that we're rolling out over the next you know couple of months you could literally build a team of hundreds of people in that time and, and, and absolutely be in the running for the label. Our, our top, top, top leadership that we've had, it, it, it always comes down to you know, the few that grow, they've already won the label. They're no longer in the running for the label. Now it's their you know, generations of people they've been growing with and helping, they're gonna be in the run for the label and, and so forth. You know, all right, and um, you know, after, after this year, I think we have what, one more year of, of it, um, so it's, I'm going to tell you, it's a monumental thing to go for and, you know, knowing where that's at. So 
I want you to think about what you would want on your label. And I want that to be for everybody here. There's 267 of us. You know, some of you already have a label like Niall, you already have yours. Donna, you have yours. Um, so what would you want to be on that label? All right. You know, um, like Del Brown, I'm going to tell you, we can't do brown wines that they've been gone for a long time. Um, Del Brown might be available. Dell is not available, I, believe it or not. Um, so a lot of times we do the first and last name. And, and the thing that's good about that is that works in our business. And remember that label, that's here for the fruition. As long as we're building together, that, that gets to be your trophy that's released. Every, every new varietal that comes out with that is going to be, you know, your wine. So we've got some that have the traditional Napa wines. Um, Nile, yours will always be a Pinot Noir. Donna's will always be a Cabernet um, Sauvignon. And we have room for more of those. The, the Pinots and, and Cabs, they're very popular. We carry several of them. And um, Niall, if you can co-host her. I think Stacy's got that button. Okay. Um, I, I'm totally taking over this call, but I'm gonna have Deanna come on here. So Deanna, I'll catch everybody up. We're going to, I need everybody just to write it down. Okay. And Niall, let's let's go over some stuff with yours, right? Do you, you, you have yours handy, don't you? Always. So many conversations are about that bottle on my desk. So Tanya came up with the stuff. They got it over to Brett and, and got the artist on it. We like to take some great creative liberties, but we also got to do it in a way where we're not fringing on copyrights. I'll tell you, as a company, we, we had a label that we rolled out and um, we did our research. Everything looked like it was good to go. And the second we were printing the labels, we had already printed labels. Um, we received a cease and desist from a very prominent wine company. And they literally had, had the copyright, if you will, or the registration on that. And they hadn't used it for 20 years, but it flagged them as it came up. And, and so th th that's a reality. So right now we know who the winner is, but we got to get the label done. Okay. And, and so I want, I want to know what you guys would want on your label. And it's also a really good thing to add to a vision board or add to a focus, because I'm going to tell you this next year, you might think, you know, there's no way you could get it. Oh my gosh, you so could. With the tools that we're rolling out right now, the way the leads work, the way you go, you can start building a team in a matter of months. And if they just duplicate the process right, unbelievable things can happen. And the worst case is you got a working team and you're building your dreams. Best case though, it's a great goal to chase. It's a great goal to chase. You guys, it cost me several million dollars to get my own label. You guys get to earn it by doing this, okay? You get to earn it. Um, so um, everybody, you know, go through it. Um, you know, Tony Thomas, I hope you have an idea, right? You're building a great team. You could absolutely win a label next year. Anybody that's under Niall, anybody that's under Donna, you guys have the great leadership that have set things up, all right? Um, they know how to do it. They've won it, right? But they also know how to duplicate and grow and, and listen to them, right? Joel, you're building a team. You got stuff going. You could, I mean, somebody in Canada really should represent, right? Deanna, let me know when your mic's working. I'm here. Awesome. Okay. So I, I've talked to you about this. I've talked to some of our other, you know, leaders. We're dreaming about the wine label because, you know, we're already going towards next year. This year's in the bag. Um, wine labels are already being, you know, produced. But, you know, Deanna, even, you know, you like, I mean, you and I talked about it. So, you guys, and I'll just hope this would be a really good exercise. So, Deanna, how would, how would you vision your label? What would you like on your label for wine? Uh, well, <clears throat> definitely pink. <laughs> anybody that doesn't know me knows my my colors pink like i picture like diamonds like not actual diamonds but you know what i mean like some type of like diamond or something like i don't know like sprinkling down or just make it like really pretty looking or like i don't know <clears throat> something like that um 
Sorry, guys, if, if I sound like horrible, I was up all night with chest pains and I just woke up. So I'm you're good, fine. Deanna. You're good. I, 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 I was bamboozling <laughs> this entire training today anyway, but I wanted to have your input on it because you're you're one of the, the leaders that's always in the top 10. And, you know, you just came back from Waikiki as well. So you're definitely in the running. But what what would you want on your label? And that's the question I want for everybody else. And I'm going to I want to put everybody on notice with with the training and the development we have we have leaders that are kicking up now because of that training we did in Waikiki um we're going to be really really pouring into the, the 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 bank training and everything else to get everybody to on speed to be the better communicators to help grow their business we're 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 investing in this to make it bigger and the way we do that is invest in the people so there's people here that have been around for a bit there's new people all all the above but you know, our, our top most guys that are usually on the top of the of the, the list, they already have a wine label. So it's, you know, like, so Stacy, I need to know what you want on your wine label. You're absolutely someone that that uh, should be there. And, and I gotta tell you, we, we, I'm gonna put this, Tanya and I and Brett and Peter, we hold the absolute, what we put on the label. Some things we can't do, some things we can do, but I, but we like to get input as much as possible because that that is a trophy that's going to be around for a long time. And we usually don't modify labels too much. Every five years, we're probably going to look to revamp it because that's what you're supposed to do. But or every couple of years, there's there's a pattern. But we want to launch a, a very awesome label that represents you, right? It's 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 something to represent, you know, core of who you are. So Deanna, you up pink, diamonds, yeah. Something that looks like sparkly and pretty, you know, and then like maybe like a big D, right? Because people call me D. Um, and then just I don't know if you can do Deanna or not. I mean, I don't I don't know. I mean, I'll leave that up to you guys. <clears throat> yeah, I, I discovered that as, as as I asked you to get on here today because I was like I bamboozled this training, but I actually wanted to pull you on because you you can get as frilly as you want with this. And you guys, and, and maybe you're and now here's the thing is because of the law of awareness you're going to be looking at wine labels a lot differently, right? Because now you're like, what would mine look like? That's what I want you to be doing. What would I want on mine? And, I, and I'm going to, I'm going to talk about the Rickard one. Um, you guys, I've wanted my own wine label because I, I know wanted to buy a winery since I was 22. Okay. And I, I literally flew out to Napa with a couple of buddies of mine that we're going to all pitch in and buy a winery together. We're going to run this, get people to run it for us. We're going to buy a winery. I was very serious about it. Um, I got talked out of it and I'm grateful, but the desire was there and I'm glad where we're at now. I mean, who would have thought that we'd be involved in it like we are now, but I have to tell you, I knew back then what I wanted my label to look like. I knew exactly what I wanted to look like. And for those of you who want to know what I wanted to look like, it is pretty much what we have right now on the record.com or on the record wine. That's it. That are, that's all I wanted. I wanted something that that's what I wanted. I wanted that look. It's a traditional direction. That's what I've always wanted. I never envisioned anything but that. So when we got everything going and um, I was really, Tanya and I were set on a few things. One is there were, if any Merlot, it's going to be a Rickard Merlot. We're not, that was one of our criteria, right? We're going to put a lot of money in this. We're going to set things up. I'm knocking out my drink. I'm going to have my own label and I just love a Merlot, right? And, and so that's what I did. And that goal absolutely achieved. And I got to tell you, it was, it's probably one of my best achievement goals in, in, in as far as business that I've ever had. It means the most to me. I wanted it the longest. You know, I, I, you know, I, you know, I, when I first started out as a kid, I wanted to be a millionaire. Okay. Well, by the time I was 22 guys, just so everybody knows I'd made millions. So that goal was passed. Now it became like other types of goals, right? I wanted this car, that car. Sure. I, I and, and I, and I'm going past it, but I'm going to tell you the thing about wine. It's going to be a legacy, right? It's going to be left behind it's going to continue on where it's, it's an awesome freaking trophy of all trophies because it represents what wine represents. And as everybody's sharing that meal and that wonderful meal, Tanya says this the best. Um, but every time we have the Nile Eddie at dinner, it's like, he's there with us. 
And for us, that's the freaking awesomest, right? And we have the Donna, Donna Walker, and it's like Donna's with us, you know, because we know these people. We, we've been in the trenches of building business and community and teams together. So, you know, you know, I can see, I can, I can see so many of you getting that label and I can envision it and picture it, right? I can see this Stacey Southward and I, I think she would do like either Southward or something. I, 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 I kind of think that's what, it, I, I haven't even looked at that's available. Maybe I have, I'm going to, I'm going to stop right there. You know, I'll, I'll put this right now. Like you guys, Stacy and Deanna and you guys go look, go look at the top 10 in, in, in the running right now. They're somewhat, in, they're definitely in the running for next year. The, the person that won, I'll recap this, the label's already won. Like we, we ended at the end of June. We, we, we did a calculation of the team growth, the overall growth from last year to this year. That's who won the label. And I'm going to tell you, it was won because of their group. It was won because of all the effort they put in to duplicate and train their team that won. The personal production was outweighed by group production big time, big time. And, and, and as it makes sense, right? It's the power of leverage, right? We can only do so much and inspire so much, you know, um, you know, it's, it's, it's what, you know, like, like kicks in, you know, Niall and, and Donna both had dynamic teams. Niall self-production was pretty massive that year, but Donna's, Donna's team was just, I mean, it was, it was so neck to neck because of that. And, and then since that year, Donna's team, it, it spread out. I mean, there's a lot of people that are in that team and that, that are growing from the benefits of the teams and how they're set up. Anybody has a chance at this. Now with the training we're putting forth, the leads that are there, if someone was to come on and literally, I'll tell you this right now, if you were to come on and get one or two personals every week, and get some of them to start duplicating. And if you had 10 people that were doing one to two a week, you're probably the person that would win, even over other people that are there, because just it's the steady growth in the volume and it's new volume. Like we, we, we base it on the biggest growth from point to point. I wanna make sure, you guys, we, we had to do that so that it was totally fair for everybody. So like, I'll, I'll put an example, like Stacy, um, Deanna, um, like Candace, um, oh my gosh. Um, oh, I, I probably should cheat. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Kathleen, oh my gosh, Kathleen Metzler is like, you guys, her team is growing like crazy. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just put some different names out there, right? And 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 Kathleen, like her, she's been building a foundation and it's starting to kick in. Okay. But all those, all of that. They're, they got to so far in June, and now it's going to be from that point forward. Now, yeah, they already have a team moving, but we start it from June, or sorry, from July 1st until June 30th. That's the, that's the time frame. We're 16 days in. And you guys, there's some, there's some good people to beat, and their team's got to step up, but anyone in their teams can outperform them. It's an equalizer balance of who wins that label. Okay, we wanted to make sure it was done that way. I'm gonna really stress it because we're on our final year of, of that label next year. And it, it's gonna be worth everybody pushing for. And it's going to be the goal to, to put on there. But having that goal, it starts with the label. And, and I wish I would have done this last year and the year before. What would you want on the label? And, and I wanna see those. I wanna see it. I wanna see people draw some stuff out I, I want to see it on your vision boards. I want to see you guys in, on the focus on it. So Deanna, you, you know, you can start, have some fun drawing. You don't need to be the best artist. Just have some fun drawing it out. Diamonds, obviously Deanna wants pink and a big D maybe. Um, and all those things, you know, obviously it's got to weigh out to the legal side. We can't do a label that's going to be a copyright infringement. We got to be really, really careful. I, you know, I, I was looking at our top leaders. Like we, I told Deanna already, I like, we were looking at different names. She's, you know, in the top, everybody that's in the top, we were looking at, and, and I'm waiting to hear some stuff back on the Southward one. I'm waiting back here back on Metzler. Um, and I think Kathleen might want something different. I mean, some of us have awesome nicknames. Oh my gosh. Thank you, babe. I need a plus. Um, 
it's it's Saturday. I get uh, I got my there's my little iced coffee. It's really small. Awesome. Okay. Um, and I, and I wanted to um, yeah, I'll put that on there. Like Niall, there was no chance he was going to get any input on that design. We we know him very well, right? Um, so for us, that was that was that was all you know. That was Tanya working on things. I mean, that was um, we we kind of knew what to do. Right. And same with Donna, like, you know, we, we had talked with her um, and, and, and the same thing, and I'm getting ready for next year already. And, and the, the reason being is we want to, we want to file it and get it in and, and get even the hopes of it. We had, we had some problems with uh, Niall's name on the labels. Um, Donna, we, we could, we, we had it, Donna, we had a problem too with the names. So we learned a lot from that, that episode. And it's not as simple as you guys think. And it's also, we have, if the wine's ever been in production, we, they, they pretty much protect it. Um, you know, we're making some changes with one of our, with some of our wines right now because of some stuff we discovered along this path. And it's, it's just a reality of business. Right. And, uh, there, there is some awesome branding going on and I want you guys to know that's what we do too, is right. We're going to be branding your wine label as the company, right? We're going to brand that out there. So, you know, you're going to be seeing the Donna Walker um, wines being marketed. You're going to be seeing the Nile Eddie Pinot Noir marketed, you know, just like we're doing. I mean, those are all being built, supported, SEO work and everything done um, that we're working on. So I'm going to. Um, I'm, I'm going to be stressing more and more the the goal side of this, because that's what I work towards. Right. Kenny and I set goals and then we go, we just go knock them out. Like if we say we're going to do something. Like we want to do that. I already know we're going to figure it out. It's a good pattern to have. And, and I wanted to reflect on that today. I wanted to completely take over the training today and focus on the dream of the label and the importance of it. So, so Niall, I'm glad you're here. I'm going to have you come on for a second. All right. And then I, I want Stacy, Deanna, because, you know, the, Deanna did the wine and dine Wednesday. She's doing the training today. And I want her to participate a little bit. And I know you're, you're, we got the rough voice, Deanna, but I want you guys to, to, to impact stuff. So Niall, and, is, and hold on, is Donna on here? Donna, I need Donna um, co-hosted, Stacey. Okay. Done. All right, Donna, if you can unmute, I need, I need to put you on the spot a little bit. Okay, I'm here. Okay, so. I, I want people to understand this whole label thing. And um, I want you guys to know what I was going to do today before this, obviously I've, I've been meditating a lot. And so I changed direction because I very, I'm, I'm very inspired on, on this path. So um, what I was gonna be focusing on today was great buying. And we're gonna do that. You know, I'm gonna probably be um, interjecting myself next week on the training in the next other weeks too, because I wanna get the marketing going. You guys like, uh, um, as, as a professional marketer, my heart is pounding so hard, joyously, because I know we remove friction. I know we're on a launch pad. I know we're going we're gonna to have quantum leaps of growth starting already. All right. So I want to run, 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 run all day long. I'm, I'm pushing, you know, my 12, 14, 15 hour days. I'm doing massive back to back flows. I'm literally helping grow things because I know now I, my impact needs to be there. And at the same time, I'm still trying to add the stuff and add what we have in the marketing. We guys, I'm telling you, like in all the years we've been doing this, what we're putting together right now, training and launch wise, it's going to happen, you know, coming up here in September. Incredible. It's never been this good ever. And, and so I want to just recap a little bit on the dream on the label. Um, Niall. And Donna, and I'll start with Niall first. Do, what, so tell me some of the things that happened with you having your own label on a wine bottle that you just didn't see happening. What, what have you been experiencing with that in, 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 your, in your perspective? And then Donna, I'm going to come to you on the same thing. So you have a little bit of time, Donna, to think about it. Niall, I brought this up with you before and it comes up. And, 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 and here's the thing, right? I'm going, to, I'm going to state this before. So I'm going to, I'm going to precursor it with this. We didn't just give Niall any Pinot Noir, right? We, we, we watched him pour into this. We watched him help me with backup stuff. We, he helped, you guys, he's helped behind the scenes because he knew 
how I built stuff before. He was part of all that stuff and he knew how to help me smooth things out. So he was literally sacrificing his own business and growth to help the community here to, to help us get things to, a, to the milestones where we needed them. And, and then he, then he was able to come in and, and, and start producing and, and, and to build all that up there. And, and, and so it was, it was, it's very, very special to Tanny and I. So we wanted to have an amazing wine, right? And so, so that's, that's why that Pinot Noir got there. Same thing with Donna. I'll talk about that next, but, but so Niall, you didn't just get a Pinot Noir. You got a very amazing Pinot Noir. You know that we all know it. You hear about it, but why don't you go ahead and talk? I'm going to mute because I'm so excited. I don't want to, I don't want to interrupt. What, what, what's it done for you? What? It, I don't, I don't think it, I never thought that label would change how I feel about you and Tanya or the company wine ambassador or what I do daily, but it kind of, it, it kind of gives a little bit of, wow, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. What an accomplishment. And I go through, I go through stores and I see celebrity names on bottles and I see, and I used to look at that as, well, only, you know, only Paul Newman's going to get his own name on a label. But then I seen yours, the Rickard Merlot, which, by the way, is the best Merlot on the planet. And it gets better the longer it's in the glass somehow. It's like magic inside that bottle. I don't know. But a, a lot of things happen. And the, the honor of having my name on a label really started hitting me hard. And as I was telling people about how good this company is and what you do for them and how you're rewarded for your hard work, I'm able to reach over my desk and pull that bottle out now. And, and I tell them what an honor it is to have your name on a label. And that, that really, that's exciting to everybody I've talked to. That's motivating to have that kind of recognition, that kind of reward, but to have your name on a label is amazing. And it, it kind of hit me a little bit when we were in Napa and then it started to really grow on me when we got home and I got that first case delivered at my door and I, I opened up the box and there was 12 bottles of Nile in there, Nile Eddie. But something happened in November where it really hit me because that's when I had all my kids here for Thanksgiving and I poured them a glass of Pinot Noir with dinner. And that's when my daughter said, that's really good wine, dad, what is it? And then I, then I brought the bottle out and I showed her her dad's name on a label. And I think it was her tear in her eye that brought the first tear in my eye. So it just hit another level for me, right? Um, oh gosh, I just got sidetracked. You guys, I, I get emotional thinking about all that. It's hard to stay focused on what you wanted to know what else has happened because of that. I think a lot of people that were on the edge of getting away from their uh, favorite wine after showing it to them and talking about them and how my, you know, my go-to was always a Pinot Grigio. Then I started drinking Cab Sabs and Pinot Noirs. And then I kind of leaned toward the Pinot Noir. I ended up with a Pinot Noir in my name. That kind of, that kind of pushed them over the edge going, you know, maybe I should try something new. Maybe I should try something different. Maybe I should uh, take a real better look at this. Unfortunately, they, unfortunately, they haven't had any annihilated Pinot Noir shift to them in a minute because they went out the door pretty quick, but it's, it's made a difference in everything, I think. Well, and um, at some point, Niall, there will be the, the next vintage of the annihilated Pinot Noir, right? And, and, if, and it's I'm tell you, if it's 80% as good as this last one, it's a winner. <laughs> well, we don't make bad wines here. We we got we got our winemakers are incredible, and so it's it'll be the same winemaker that made that glorious Pinot Noir that'll be making the next one. It's already in barrels, right? It's just it's in barrels already. Also, um, when I describe that wine, Rory, and the recognition and everything that happened, I let people know this this isn't this isn't me. I didn't go out there and run a bunch of ads and run it all to my website and you know sponsor everybody by myself. Right. This this is a result of a team of people and concerted effort. And I'm the proud one that gets to represent that team. And that, that means a lot more too. And this label, when you're talking about designing it, you know, Deanna wants hers to be pink and sparkly. And you know, maybe you could throw some Louis Vuitton on there too. Because that's Deanna Young, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Right. <laughs> that label, the 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 nautical compass 
my true north, I don't think anybody knows on this planet what that means to me more than you and Tanya or myself. And, and yet it's, it's, it's there on that label. And, you know, the, the thing about a wine is every wine has a story. Our wine stories are about, about us. They're about the people and the, and the strife, the goals, everything that went into that. I mean, you know, I mean, as, as a leader, Niall, and, and I know, I know firsthand how many hours it takes to, to put into building this business and telling the stories over and over again and sharing the message. It, and, and it's part of the group thing. Um, so let's let's move, Donna. What is it? What is it done with you, Donna? Well, I agree with everything Niall says. Um, especially, I mean, it, it was an honor that I I never really thought was possible, um, and a feeling of accomplishment that um, every time I look at the label, it gives me chills. Honestly, to have earned that, and something else that I've also found is. Um, it, everybody that I talk to, it lets them know that anything is possible. If you want it bad enough and you work hard enough at it, you can achieve it no matter how, what age you are. <laughs> Even if you're older than most people will give you a job, then you can still do this. It's attainable. And I think it's given a lot of people on my team uh, motivation as well to, to keep going and stay consistent and work hard because it is definitely possible. And I'm going to, I'm going to ask how, how did, how did the wine label go over with your family? Oh, <laughs> well, I, uh, my two daughters never really, um, let's just say I didn't have the support from them or the belief in the system because they didn't really take the time to understand what I was doing. And when I showed them a bottle with my label on it, they stood back and went, oh my gosh. And, uh, and then the, you know, with the uh, leadership retreats that we have been on as well, um, it has really brought into reality that th this is real and this is attainable. So, um, and it's fabulous. There's nothing like it on the face of this earth. And Rory and Tanya, I am so grateful to you for this opportunity. You, you have no idea. And I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put this as far as things, cause I know, I mean, so, I mean, I, I, got, I got a contrast, I got a contrast here um, with our label winners from, from last year. And, and I gotta tell you, I don't think I don't think that event could have gone any better than it did. I don't. Awesome. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, and I'm saying that because, you know, we were, um, you know, we wanted to, everything to be super, super special. You know, you worry about the weather a little bit and, you know, we didn't get any rain and, and it's, it's, um, it was um, so, it was so surreal. Um, and, and the, you know, and obviously it's harvest time. So those grapes are just plump and, and it's like, it, when, the, when the grapes are plump and then they're on the vine ready to, to harvest to me that's that's my favorite um single moment of a vineyard is that time and that's that's why you know that's why it's fun to do it during harvest i like all the i like all the stages of the vine don't get me wrong but that that at the time when we do our celebration is that is the end goal for that season is to get that fruit that's the goal of the whole the, the whole vineyard process the the, the nurturing, the, the, the growth of, of the, you know, that, that the vine and those minerals that are, that have come from the soil, they've worked their way through the branches and the leaves to, to then become part of the fruit. That's like a three-year process. It, it's not the minerals today that grow. It's, it's like, it takes that long for them to seep through to become the fruit. It's a long journey, right? Relatively so, right? So that's three years in the make for the fruit. And, and then, and then, Obviously, it's a continuing circle uh, going from the fruit to the, you know, the crush and the fermentation and, and, uh, and the, the aging and all the stuff that goes into that process to, to create that wine. But that, that's, a, that's a milestone of a goal to get fruit to actually be ready to make the wine. And we're celebrating that moment with a snapshot of where the business momentum is and recognizing, you know, the top 20, 
rep representing our, you know, those that are striving and pushing, and then obviously the label winner. And I got to tell you, I don't know any business on the planet that has an award that is equal to the power of a label on a bottle of wine. I don't. I don't. It's something when we were, um, you know, putting that together, again, a goal, and, and, it, and, it, and it all derived from my freaking desire to have my own label since I was 22. And, 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 and something that I waited for, I mean, a long time to get, I mean, that's, that's, that was a desire. It was a goal and I couldn't hit it the first time because it just didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. It was millions of dollars that at the time there was no way to really see it as a business. It was a write-off opportunity only. It was a way to lose a lot of money and have a way to write it off and, and have a beautiful place in, in Napa for long term. And it didn't fit my life at the time. And and, didn't, and my partners too, it didn't fit. And so, but it gave me some knowledge that later turned out to be very useful. And so I'm, I'm watching that. And it's just like the aging, you know, of, of the grapes and the vineyards that are older, you know, like, you know, a lot of our vines are 20, 30 years old, 40 years old. And, and where we're pulling the fruit from, the farmers we're pulling the fruit from, they're 40, 50, 60 years old. And, 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 and there's a certain age where the, they become even better of a, of, a, of, a, of a grape. And we're getting that, right? And I think about that, and this is why I say all roads lead to wine, is I, and, and, and I'll, it'll age, I mean, but 25 years, right, ago, I wanted a, my own winery. I think I, I went and looked at it when I was 24. I think it was 24 around there. I think it was before I had my 25th birthday. I'm trying, I'm trying to date it. But then 20 some odd years later, we have vineyards, we have our own wines, I have my own label on a wine, and, and it's just like growing, I mean, that, that's the time period it takes to grow, you know, really good vineyards or vines for those grapes. You know, we got Syrah that we're not even pulling fruit from yet, and it won't be ready for a couple more years still in the vineyard, and we're looking on, on more Pinot, we're looking on more um, francs, everything that we're working on on the grapes. This is something that is just fun, right? But you look at about it when I say all roads lead to wine, the patient process, the waiting for things to happen, you know, I planted that seed and that desire and it grew and it was growing and it was constant. And then the universe lined things up and here we are. And and, and that same understanding of time, everybody here that's been part of this amazing company, you're still part of this amazing company and growing, your, your vines are growing, right? You're, you're learning how to make things happen. You're dealing with the, the, the rainfall. And I mean, that you know, the, the stress of life, the, the endurance of training and growing and developing, that's, that's, that's equal to the soil and the conditions to grow you as a, a person in the business at, you know, and and a, and a teammate of, of, of us and a partner with us, it's very similar to growing the vines. This is this is Rory going deep today, and I see that. And yet, we do have these milestones and outcomes, and 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 creating the fruit every year is us creating more of a customer base, more of a, a shared community understanding that we have these incredible, true fine wines that aren't the you know, the debauchery wines that are just, you know, with all the additives. I mean, we're taking a true product of value and benefit and we're honoring the, the, the wine the way it's supposed to be. And we get to take that out. And, and, and in doing so, there, there are some great milestones and, and we get to celebrate things. And that being said, I hope everybody's like coming together what you want with your label. And, uh, you know, I'll pull some names. I mean, I'm, I'm watching some people start to kick in. And, you know, and once you believe you can do it, and once you set your mind on it, we've got all the tools and resources here. The, you guys, we get to train you how to build no matter where you're coming from. You just got to accept it, receive it, and, and, and go into action with it, right? You've got to. Um, and, and that's it. That's it. You know, and I'm looking at, you know, you guys are all family, really, to us. And I'm looking at all the names, everybody that's constantly on here. They're diving in. They're doing their stuff. And we just got to get a little bit more engagement. You, you know, we got to get you out of your way. We get you to start being part of that. And that's part of the process here. It's just like growing the vines in the vineyard. It really is. And then we start producing the fruit, right? And yeah, maybe the first year or two, you don't want to use that fruit. You, you, you know, you, you, you get rid of it. It goes into like jams or something. And that's, but it's still producing. 
But then you put that time and energy in that third, fourth season. Now we actually have what we wanted and what we saw from the very beginning. So like, it's like this. So, and I'll bring this up and Tanny and I, we, you know, we see a person that comes in and maybe I just meet him for the first time on that BRT on Monday and you're getting to know that person, right? And you already had this vision of, oh my gosh, that's going to be the biggest, best, you know, plumpest grape in, in it's, it's going to, I can see it. We can see what that can become. And we know it's going to take nurturing and, and love and, and, and pouring into and accountability and, you know, talking them off the ledge, all those things that happen to develop them as a business person in our community to get there. And our reward is when we do it right and the growth is there, we're going to be getting that incredible fruit that then we can then take to create even more success as we, you know, use it to create the next evolution of things. It's, that's why I say all roads lead to wine. I can, I can marry the processes, the patient processes of life, the patient processes of creating a true wine. I don't think it's a, I, I think it's a purposeful thing. I don't think it's an accident that it works that way. All amazing things take time. And once you get it down and you understand it, it's like clockwork. So like our winemakers that just know how to make that wine, if you hear their stories, the first wines they made, they weren't proud of now, but they were learning, right? Dad was teaching, grandpa was teaching them. And, the, you know, it, they're, they're, you know they're, they have stories of massive bad decisions, right? Or thinking, you know, they knew it all. It, it's, it's fun like that. Um, and, 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 you know, they're, they're oh, I'm almost gave something away. Okay, so anyway, what we're gonna do is, let me, let me go to this, so we get our labels. We got 15 minutes of, of this training hour. I hope everybody here, and if you haven't done it yet, just, just for fun, what would you want on your label? You know, maybe, maybe you want to put your kids on it, right? Maybe you want to put, you know, your, 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 you know, your dog on it, right? I mean, Deanna, you can put, you know, taco on it, right? It could be taco wine. Ooh. <laughs> I actually just seen Deanna on a pink scooter with a Louis Vuitton purse on his shoulder and taco on the other shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's, it's, who's driving the scooter? No, she's got the purse on this shoulder, so she's holding out the right hand. Oh, on got, it. got it. Got yeah. it, I know disaster waiting to happen. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I tried not to go there. We got yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. You, you didn't what? <laughs> these wines to go with these nuts. <laughs> so I think the uh, the scooter Chardonnay is a pretty good <laughs> choice. Yeah. And and that's the, actually Niall. That brings up the other side. And, and this is, you know, we have different wines. We have whites and reds. And, you know, we, we tried to, you know, we were very careful, but I mean, like we get to know what, what they like, but, you know, we'd like to honor that. You know, we know Deanna only drinks whites. So that's easy, a white wine, right? No. And so, <laughs> right, Deanna? No. And, and Stacy likes the green ones. Yeah, Stacy <laughs> likes the green wines. Oh, I thought we were talking about bottles. Oh, oh. The green bottle. The green bottle. <laughs> no, but we like, we like to know that. So like, so, like, you know, and that's the thing, too. Like, it's, you know, we have a, a really good set of varietals. There's, there's a couple of things here. The, the sparkling wines um, will, will, will be under, um, you know, like the Brett Hudson label or whatever else. So we could, we could venture on that. That's a possibility. Um, but, like... Uh, the Merlot is not up for grabs ever. That was that was Tanya's and I. That, that's that was a really big, big decision for me on on you know on, on when we set this up there. But I mean, there's rooms for Pinot Noirs. There's rooms for Cabernet Sauvignons because those are number one drinking red wines that are out there. Um, we have we have a we have a, a we have some new yes we have some new wines being released right now that have, they, they they take forever to make and they're done. And I and I, I think I told you, I'll tell you this again. The the wine that's being released with the new label on it from from you know the 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 label winner, he or she that won that, their team, their team is absolutely responsible for that. But I'm gonna stress something. It's they had a lot of team members do a little bit. They had some do a lot. You guys, this is I stress this, you don't need to move the mountain by yourself. 
if everybody's just consistently taking a shovel here and there, the mountain gets moved, right? It, it's that simple. And, and, and so, you know, we're, we're building this and, you know, and that's what, you know, we had to analyze all the group all the way down and, and who had the best growth from year to year. Um, someone that comes in brand new, right. And is this consistently growing and gets some people to consistently grow literally has the same advantage as somebody with an existing group growing. So we, we weigh it all out. And, and, and that was really important for us to go year by year. So it's, it's it's un, it's it's in the books. We we uh, we took a really good you know guess at it. Uh, you know, Tanya and I have been uh, you know gathering information on the labels. So now I want to get that you know more. But it's I'll tell you this: it, it, it the person that wins next year, it, it they may not think they did enough because they're going to be pushing and pushing and pushing, and it's going to come down. I I'll I'll, I'll do a guess. It's going to come down to the winner is is not going to probably win by a lot. I bet you it's going to be very very close. It was it's close every year, but when we analyze it, but it's like the the guys that get the the rhythm going and 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 and, and they're doing consistency. We always get to a point where like I wish I would have just done more, but you get to a point where you just get a really comfortable pace, and you and you can keep it up. It's duplicating that and sharing it with others that really gets that leverage in place that, that makes this work. And the, the, the thing is, is it's rewarding you for the right, you know, behaviors, right? I mean, the, the compensation plan we have is all based on personal customers, personal growth of ambassadors and duplicating them, right? Helping your ambassadors grow their binary, helping, you know, customers get referrals that they want the free wine or just having fun with the socials. It's du just duplicating the same thing. And, you know, the more that you add on a consistent basis, the better the odds go. The more momentum you build, the better the odds go. And, you know, and, and I look at the story of the winner of the label, as I see it, the story from my eyes and, and being, you know, on there. And, you know, I've helped, I help, I get, you know, I get to help you guys lead from, you know, lead from the field too, right? It's very important. I did it that way. And I know most of their leaders that, that were growing and, and developing because they're, they're on the calls, they're active, they're doing things that they, they, every one of them utilizes our leads that we uh, provide without exception, which is, which is fantastic. And then there's some in there that um, just really good at adding a few customers and, and um, just growing steady. And it's a lot of those components that are in there, but the growth came, you know, for them last year, more so than the year before and more so from the year before, but the, it's the ripple effect of all that work. And, and some of you, you know, you've been around and maybe you feel like you haven't done enough for your business, but you have been putting ads out. You've been doing the little things that do build up, just like building those vines. Like, you know, when's it going to be ready? When's it going to be ready? You do it, you're doing things that are making it grow. And th that's, that's what you need to understand is it's a patient process to build something great. And, and we have these things to help build the team faster, right? We've got these incredible leads. We've got this incredible training and development program that's getting bigger and better. And, um, you know, we're, we're, we're pouring into you guys, just like, you know, you're going to pour in the, you know, the right, you know, nurturing and, you know, nutrients into the, uh, the grapes and, and, the, and the vines and everything, the, and, and the vines to grow in the grapes. All that's the stuff that we're doing constantly, right? You know, and, that that's that's something that you know you know we're in here for the long haul right we're here for we're here as long as we can keep moving and and then we'll make sure it keeps going after that and it's it's fun to be part of something with a legacy tied to it but i want you guys to really dream about that label right dream about that label and 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 get it in that motion and you know i know it's you know there's only gonna be one winner of it but it, it, at this point, it's not decided that that future is not set. And, and, and by chasing that big of a goal, and to, guys, I'm telling you, a label is a big goal. I mean, it costs, it costs me millions. You guys get to earn it. But once you have it in the, in the company, you know, we're going to be releasing new vintages and, and that to, to grow the team. Oh, okay. So, I, and I'm going to, I'm going to say this, there's a purpose for, for this training. Um, I literally, literally, um, in, in brainstorming with everybody here, I, I had an epiphany 
um, which happens. That's what happens when you like focus on and you meditate on anything. Eventually, answers come, right? So there, there will be a new, new change, a new addition, a new concept that will be forward going with the labels. So I'm going to tell everybody, chase it like mad, and you'll be so glad you did. I'm going to, I'm going to leave that. I'm, I'm going to do my best not to spill the beans on this. Um, I literally got to keep it quiet until after next year, not this year, but next year, because that's when it'll, it'll, that's when it'll, it'll probably take place. But just know there's going to be some amazing things that we get to do um, because, of that, because of this epiphany too. Um, and, and, and now you guys know I got to keep something quiet for two years. It's going to kill me. It's going to kill me. But when we roll it out, it's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be on. Okay. And I'm going to uh, like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about it actually, because um, I haven't seen anything like this done either before. And for what we're doing, it's going to be just ideal and, um, and set the pace. You know, the thing is, is uh, like, like a vineyard. Okay. Um, planning the, the initial vines, what to grow, what, what wines we're going to make. Now, now we're, we're pretty abstract. We can do, we're, we're doing all the wines we can pull from Napa and Sonoma. And we um, started, started this, a little bit of the story. We started this, uh, this process to make this particular wine. It's something that uh, we like this wine. It's, um, it's, it's going to be released. So the label that's being released in, um, in September, I'm going to, I'll repeat this. It's a wine that we have never released before in Wine Ambassador. It, it's a varietal that we have not yet released. Okay. So it's, 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 it's going to be a very unique offering. Um, it's, it, and it's, gosh, I'm so excited about it. And, and, and then the, I tell you, we're preparing the foods. Like I'm already salivating. I've already seen the menu and I, and it, it's going to be amazing. Unbelievable. Um, and it'll be a very special moment. And then we go forward, but I want you guys to do really focus on that dream. Right. So like, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I always like to pick on some people. I try to make it, I try to cover everybody at some point, but like Sandy Gusto, you're part of an amazing team growing. You, you guys, like I'm telling you right now, um, Stacy, Jackie, you guys have just started dominating like the path. You guys have been putting things together. You've been trying things out. You got a pretty good process going, but you know, you know, Sandy, I see your stuff coming in. You, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, you're absolutely, you can consider yourself completely in the running. Just build what they're doing. Right. And, and if it helps, if it helps your, you know, if it helps Stacy get there, it's when you hear what I'm doing, you'll understand, like, you're going to wish you pushed everybody. Like we're, we're all, we all get to give back. Right. And, and, and you receive the help you get, and we got leadership and, and helping build towards your label and building towards their label. It all works out. That was how it was intended. Right. And it worked out that way. Right. Donna's done a lot of work for a long time. Niall's done a lot of work for a long time. And they get those, they got that, they got that trophy, but their team gets to appreciate it all the time. And they all know who Niall is. They all know who Donna is. You know, pretty much the people that are there are going to be known because they're active and growing the community. And I want you guys to really, really like think about that. Right. And, 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 and think about what you want on that label. Right. I know, um, let's see if she's on here. Jackie, um, you're co-hosted, right? Jackie, Jackie Bellavia. <laughs> she's co-hosted. I know I'm, 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 I'm calling you out, Jackie. Can you unmute? Hang on. I know what's going on. He has a little video camera in all of our houses. So if we go to the bathroom or the kitchen or coffee or anywhere from our desk, that's when he calls your name. <laughs> uh, so Jackie, I talked to her about her label. She actually, she talked to us. She's like, Rory, I see it happening. And um, so Jackie came to us and told us exactly what she wanted on that label. And I love that. That's kind of what started this concept. I'm like, you know, I, I'm I didn't really, Rory. there you are, Jackie. What, what do you want on your label, hon? Oh, baby. Fleur de lis and butterflies. And, and, and you want to go with the Bella Via name, right? Yes, sir. I'm, we're, 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 we're dreaming labels. We're making dreams, babe. Tan, Tanya's walking in my office again. <laughs> so we, we already knew what Jackie wanted because she declared it to us, right? 
And, and I'll tell you, you know, and I, I'm going over the teams. I mean, Jackie, you're, you're, you, you know, you're always in the running because you're building stuff, but you know, what people don't see, you know, you see like the leaderboards, you see the individual effort on there, but the leaderboard is also indicated of your group. And, and just, just, just so you guys know, if you don't see yourself in the top 20, but you got a team growing, we're, we're doing it based on new business growth year to year, year to year, year to year, right? So it's not like it's a cumulative thing and who wins like, well, they've been there a long time. So of course they're in the running. No, it's, it's who did the most from July one to June 30. Okay. And I'm going to stress that because I had a lot of people that I talked to that didn't feel like this was something they're in the running for. And that was exactly the opposite of what we set up. All right. I'm going to tell you this right now. Someone that comes in even by December can build a team and get things going to where the, the growth and everything will be in there. And um, it's, it's, it's incredible where we go on things. So I wanted you guys to just, just think about where that's at. And um, I'm, I'm going to put a little bit of a, uh, I'm going to put a tease out there. Okay. Next week, next week, I want to, I want to have, Oh, how do I do that? Um, next week, I want you guys prepared to explain what you want on your label. Okay. So when we, when we start the call next week and I'm trying to think who Tanya, who's doing the, uh, wine and dine Wednesday. Oh, perfect. Okay. So Tanya is doing the wine and dine this Wednesday. So I'm not, I'm not going to be caboodling like I am with the, I'm, I'm not going to just take over Deanna's time. Like at this time and, and Deanna, maybe I'll have you on there with me um, next week to do some other stuff to make up for it. But um, next week, I'm going to have people be ready, be ready to share what you want on your label. And, um, I, I, I may or may not reward you with points for doing so. So let's, let's, uh, figure that out. Be ready with your label next week. And, um, we'll get that going. And um, we're still in the travel cash promotion, right? And, um, there's a lot of participation points that have not yet been added, right? We haven't done that yet, right, babe? I'm yelling at Tanya down in the kitchen. Tanya, we haven't added all the participation points yet, right? Okay, so those are manually done and Tanya likes to do all those. So those aren't done yet, guys. So I'm gonna tell you though, if you know there's participation points, they're gonna be coming in there soon. We're gonna see some massive jumps, okay? Lots of travel cash is gonna be handed out and that's what we want. That's the pattern we're building on. So to round things out, Let's, let's just be ready with your label. Think about it, right? Write it down, draw it out even, okay? And, and, and if you can, um, you know, have a picture of it. So let's, let's, I'll make that easy. So draw it out and you can take a picture of it and have it on your computer so you can share your screen and show like the vision where you want that to be. That, that, that is a little bit of homework. That's your dream homework on your wine label for next week. Okay. I can see and, all the slideshows and the Canva prints and I could yeah, just, just have it on there. Okay. And, and then, and here's the other thing about it too, right? Is you guys can have fun on your social media posts and, and even write a page on this that like, you should be thinking this way anyway, but you can let your family know, Hey, I'm, 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 I'm in a, uh, you know, I'm building my wine business. And if I can build, you know, if I can be, I want to, I want to build this big because if I do it right, I win my own label. That is a really good like call to action with the community to back you up. I'm, you guys, okay, so you guys see, I'm, I have a path, I have a plan I'm, I'm doing, right? There's always some crazy method to my madness and it's all about building and building and building. So start getting that developed, right? And start sharing that out there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this right now. We have people that have huge communities that would support that. That builds your wine business. Right. And we have amazing wines and it gives more exposure, but we're also tying to, to better forms of communication. Guys, I'm, I'm part of this amazing wine business. The wines are amazing. I have a chance to get my own label in the company. I, I'm trying to grow this. You know, is there anybody, you know, guys, this would be a great thing for me. DM me, hit me up. Right. And, and don't do it once. This is a year long promotion have some fun with it. And then yeah, let me, let me, let me check on something really quick. I gotta, I, I'm gonna mute. 
Have y'all heard me say marketing guru before? Brilliant. Can help you promote your label before you get your label. I, I, I think I'm going to make a call right now. Are, are we doing? Well, are we doing? Hold on. All right, I, I just I just had the boss tell me. So this year's in the books, right? The 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 winner's been decided. You know where we're going with that. Um, they they probably I'll I'll put a hint out there. Actually, I'll stop with that. Ooh. Um, whew. Um, we have two more years of label winners with with what we're doing right now. I, I was saying one more. That makes that makes what I just said even more powerful. Get going. Because if you don't win this year, you want to be set up for the best growth the next year. So let's get those, let's get those vineyards planted. Every ambassador you add, every every direction you get going with that is planting a vineyard. Okay. So push. The person that's going to win it in, in this in not this year, but the next year may not even be in the business yet. Okay. May not even be in the business yet. And 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 this is and and, th and then I want you guys to know that after we get done with these labels. I already know what we're doing. So now I got to hold my secret for three years. This is going to absolutely kill me. Um, oh my gosh. What am I going to do? It will or can you will just, you know, weigh it out. Oh, I'm not telling Brett about it at all. <laughs> Brett actually kind of knows about it because we were talking about stuff, but I'm not going to bring it up with him at all because three years for Brett, that'll never happen. Like, like it'll never happen. You know, so um, true. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he, he could probably like, for 10 minutes. I, I know. <laughs> the, the only person I, I know Peter's good with a secret. Oh, Tanny said the three years is a long time. Okay, I'm not, where I'm going to, I'm not going to tell Peter yet. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell Tanya. She's going to, she's, I don't, guys, it is, I'll, I'll tell you this. It just gets better and better, and we're going to have a lot more fun. Just go build. Okay, so next week, I want to see. I want to see pictures of what you want your label to be. Okay, I want to see pictures. I want. I want to see pictures, and then on the marketing thing when we go forward, let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'll keep. I'll keep giving you guys some more feedback. It's not just that, but also, um, we have room for more for more label winners because I just told you there's two years, so you put that out there, and then you can also put this. You know, if you've ever wanted to have your name on a label, you should talk to me. I'm gonna tell you something. Wine's sexy, in case you guys didn't know this. But I, I talked with a lot of business owners um, for years. And when, when they found out that I had my own label on wine, the, the jealousy that I've, that I've received from my peers, you know, you, you guys, I have a lot of millionaire friends, okay? They don't have their own wine label. And, and, um, the jealousy and envy, and, and it's professional. I mean, it's, they're all proud of me, right? They've all bought it, right? And, and I, when I give it as a gift, it's powerful, okay? Don't, don't underestimate the, the power of that, right? It's, you know, some people like to get involved with things, but most people that, that, that drink wine have no problem talking about wine. I don't think there's, everybody does. Wine's just relevant, all right? This might be the angle that helps kick your business into a different direction, and we should have focused on it earlier. And, and that's fine, right? It's the timing is there. It's there. I mean, we've been around for several years. We're well established. Okay. We got wines made, being made for the next, you know, in the next five years already. Um, and we've got, we, we roadmap everything out. I mean, we got a successful thing. So where we go from now and all that stuff with the labels will be freaking fantastic. All right. I'm going to, I've gone over, but I went over to our other training hour. Um, I'm going to go into that next. So let's um, close this off. You guys know the, the, the plan for next week. I'm going to put some stuff out there. Um, I'm going to tell you this. You work really, really hard for a trophy. And, and this is one, I mean, this is such a big cost. It's a, it's a big, big deal. 
And we in last year we did the two, which was because it, it, it was so freaking close, guys. It was like uh, we we did it, and that, that'll never happen again. I'll tell you that right now. That will never happen again. And this year we're doing we're doing one. Next year we'll do one, and then the one more year after that. So that should tell everybody on here, put you on notice. You may not win it this next time. But you better get your group ready for the next time, right? And but we're doing it new to new. So anybody new coming in has an equal shot really to make it work. And remember, we give you guys resources to build. Use them. Use them. You don't need to move a mountain to make this happen. You just got to build consistently and get a team building consistently. But I'll tell you, influencers are out there and, you know, but, but you know, you can, it's a great message. And, you know, think about it. How many, how many influencers in social media have a big long following that if they, if they came into your group and brought on a thousand customers or hundreds of customers, they could, they could qualify for a label if they did enough. It's a good draw. Think about it. We'll continue this path next, next week. Um, God bless. And I'll go to the next training hour.